Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Thursday, April 18th. GM Energy just debuted vehicle to home bi-directional EV chargers. Once installed, the home EV chargers will enable customers to send power from a compatible GM EV to their home. Customers can purchase GM Energy's vehicle to home bundle for $7,299. The home bundle doesn't come cheap, but it's comparable to other battery storage costs. A power wall costs $11,500 with a solar installation through Tesla. And GM system enables the need to install battery storage. The first of GM's EVs to be compatible with the GM Energy Home product suite is the Silverado EV, which will be equipped with an enormous 200 kilowatt hour battery pack that is capable of powering an entire house for 21 days. GM Energy is ready to compete with the likes of Tesla and its Powerwall as it begins selling stationary battery storage and solar integration. Tesla has launched a new website aimed at convincing shareholders to vote for reinstating Elon Musk's $55 billion compensation plan. Back in 2018, Tesla shareholders approved one of the biggest compensation plans of all time, a $55 billion fully stock-based CEO compensation plan for Elon Musk. In January, a judge found that Tesla had governance issues when coming up with the compensation plan, and those issues were not communicated to shareholders before voting on the plan. The Delaware court found that this invalidated the vote, and therefore Tesla had to resend the compensation plan. Yesterday, Tesla told shareholders that it will ask them to vote on moving Tesla's state of incorporation to Texas, and then re-vote for Musk's compensation plan without changing anything. Now, Tesla has launched a new website to convince the shareholders to vote for the package again. Most of the website is dedicated to showing that the compensation plan was aligned with the shareholders' interests. The judge found that Musk was in control of Tesla and the board, leading to irregularities in how the plan was put together and negotiated. That's at the core of the judge's decision, and Tesla doesn't really address it in its new SEC proxy statement. Tesla shareholders are going to vote on the plan again in June, along with the move to Texas. Xping's self-driving system is currently being tested on German roads and is showing great promise, leading the way for a rollout throughout Europe. Xping Motors has continued to improve its advanced driver assistance system over the years and has become a growing name in the automotive industry because of its EV expansion to new global markets. The driver assist features were originally only applied to highway driving scenarios before Xping expanded the system to operate on more congested urban roads. After sharing impressive city driving footage, Xping began piloting its next phase in self driving. When it fully launched in March 2023, Xping heralded it as the most advanced and capable in China. Since then, Xping Motors has been quickly rolling out self-driving access to drivers in China. Meanwhile, in Europe, Xping Motors continues to introduce new all-electric models and is taking the next steps to roll out self-driving to those customers as well. The global wind industry installed 117 gigawatts of new capacity in 2023, making it the best year ever for new wind energy with global cumulative wind power capacity passing the first one terawatt milestone. The 117 gigawatt of installations in 2023 represents a 50% year-over-year increase from 2022. The top five markets for new wind installations are China, US, Brazil, Germany, and India. China set a new record with 75 gigawatts of new installations commissioned. Brazil installed 4.8 gigawatts of wind in 2023, putting the country in third place globally. Offshore wind had its second best year on record with 10.8 gigawatts total installed. The Global Wind Energy Council has revised its 2030 growth forecast of 1,210 gigawatts by 10% in response to the wind industry entering a new era of accelerated growth driven by increased political ambition. It's great to see wind energy growth picking up. However, growth is highly concentrated in a few big countries. Many more countries need to improve their market frameworks in order to scale up wind installations. Hyundai is constantly looking for ways to improve the range and performance of its EVs. Its latest partnership with Toray Industries will develop new materials for better EV performance. Regarded as a global carbon fiber leader, Toray's advanced materials are used in many sectors such as automotive and aviation for their lightweight, strong, and heat-resistant properties. Hyundai aims to become a first mover and gain a competitive edge with the new materials to strengthen its position as a global leader in EVs. The Korean automaker plans to use the lightweight, high-strength materials to improve improve EV battery and motor performance. Joint research and development includes carbon fiber reinforced polymer parts. Hyundai said the new materials partnership plays a key role in the group's future mobility strategy. The materials will be used to improve Hyundai, Kia, and likely Genesis electric vehicles. Hyundai has become the second largest EV maker in the US behind Tesla. 
While many rivals push back EV plans, Hyundai says the company is all in on electric cars. The Korean automaker aims to be among the top three EV makers globally by the end of 2030. To do so, Hyundai is investing roughly $18 billion betting on EVs as the future. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that if Gokuro's batteries had higher energy density, they could be used in motorcycles and as EV power backups. Well, that would be a great idea. I would love to see more battery development specifically for motorcycles. And as for backups, we've already seen scooter batteries used in Vietnam as backup power for small stores, so it would be great to see even more initiatives like that. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven, and have a great day.